What's up guys, this is Ian coming back at you with another Motivational Monday video. First off, I want to say happy belated Father's Day to all you metal dads and non-metal dads out there that are uh, making it work and doing everything you can for your kids. Just a big thank you to all you dads out there making it happen every day. Now, with that in mind, this episode is going to be father related, actually. Real quick, before we go any farther, I need you guys to subscribe to the page. The button, right down there, hit that, hit the one up here, or if it's over here, I don't remember where the hell it is, but make sure you hit it, subscribe to our page, make sure you have your notifications turned on so you get notified every time we drop a new video, which we are doing multiple videos a week now. So please, guys, I would appreciate it very much. Just hit the button, make sure you subscribe. There are obviously many, many, many guys in bands that want to tour or maybe want to further their career in music that have families that feel like maybe they're kind of stuck, for lack of a better term, I guess. As a father of a 12-year-old and a 17-year-old now, I can tell you that that's not exactly how it works. I have children. I have had children since I was 19 years old. That's very young. That seems to take pretty much your young adulthood away from you. That's how a lot of people feel. They feel like, now that I've had kids, I can't be young 20 year old idiot who's going out and you know doing young 20 year old idiot stuff. It feels like you probably have to grow up too fast before you're ready. And it can cause a lot of problems in relationships because who really wants to grow up? I mean, honestly, nobody. And with children involved and you know families, it's, it's a very difficult situation, especially when one of you isn't uh, aspiring to be touring musician. That's difficult on its own. You're already away from home. You already have financial stress with touring and everything like that. And you have all your obligations at home, your children, your job, your, you know, your house, all your bills, all that stuff. It is a very, very big leap. It is a very risky leap. And a lot of people feel like they can't do that because of their family life. Before some of you lose your shit on me and say that I'm saying that kids are bad or families are bad, shut up. I'm not saying that at all, okay? I'm not. I love my children more than anything in the world and they know that. I'm just saying you can have both. There is a way. It's not the easiest and it takes a lot of work, but you can make it work. When we were touring a lot, you know, we would probably tour like every 10 weeks. We would go on, you know, two, three, four week tours or something like that. We were touring quite a bit. It was stressful, as it would be, as tours are. Anybody who's gone on tour knows that they're stressful. My children hated it, but also to grow this, you have to do things like that. It sucks, but it's gotta get done sometimes. You know, for, for us on tour, it's not a big party. It's not like that. We're not touring like old VH and stuff like that, man. We're we're going in, we're living cheap, or we're you know, we're sleeping in our van. We don't get hotel rooms, we shower every couple of days, we live as cheap as possible. And when you go on your tours, you gotta pay everything up front. You gotta pay all your bills before you even leave and make sure you have money set aside for your family and for everything else. And if you live in um, you know, a non-broken home and your significant other is cool with that and everything can work that way, that's great. If you are divorced or separated or whatever, then that is gonna make it a little bit difficult because the other parent doesn't quite think what you're doing maybe is worth it or they might not agree with it or whatever. So that's a situation that you have to work out too financially as well as emotionally. You know, you have to look your kids in the face and be like, look, I have to go. It's what I feel like needs to get done. And I feel like to get this career farther, this is what I need to do. And honestly, touring is a big part of what you have to do. Obviously not right now with everything being shut down, you know, band can tour. Up until recently, that's, I mean, you're gonna have to tour at some point, at least a little bit because people want to see you, or you want them to want to see you live. That's the whole goal, right? Having that talk with your kids saying, hey, I'm going to be gone for a few weeks or however long. 
my kids are very attached to me. We have very, very good connections. And when I would have to leave to go on tour, my kids would be very upset. And it was tough. And I talked to them every day. I would call them, text them all the time. I'd always go and pick them up, like trinkets and stuff like that, little souvenirs from whatever cities we would be in and stuff like that. And I would make sure to constantly send them pictures and whatnot. And I'd have good stories to tell them when I got back. And that's that's great, but it's not easy. It's it's tough. I mean, it just is tough. It's emotionally draining. Touring alone is emotionally draining. You know, having your family on top of it and trying to make all that work, it's really difficult. Where do you draw the line between what you want to do versus what you have to do? That's a difficult one to do. You got to work, you got to get paid, you got to feed your family. You have to be able to live. But you want to do what you want to do on top of it. You want to go out and you want to further your musical career from touring. When do you say yes? When do you say no? When is enough enough? That kind of depends all on you. It depends on what you want, how far you want to go, and how far you want to further your career. You know, we've done everywhere. We've played everywhere in this country. And we've made some awesome connections. We've done a lot of really cool things. We've played with really cool people and met lots of great friends along the way. Did it do much for our career? Yeah, I think so. And some of you guys might be like, well, they only have X amount of life, or, you know, whatever. It did, it works, it really does. Especially if you're personable and you really put your best foot forward and you make the most out of every single date that you have. That's what you have to do. This stuff doesn't just come to you. Dates usually just don't fall in your lap. You have to work to book the tours. You have to work to obviously rehearse. You have to work to get it all to be one cohesive unit and hope and pray that you're not gonna get over every single night that you're there, which can easily, easily happen and does happen quite a bit. If you want to tour and you want to try to be a professional musician, one of the things that you need to have is a good support system. That sounds pretty easy for me to say, just like, hey, have people back you up. If you're gonna have people back you up, you need to take it seriously. Don't be one of those guys like, dude, in six months, we're gonna be traveling the world, and blah, blah, blah. There's always a possibility you might, but let's be totally honest and let's just cut the shit. It's a pretty tough game and they don't really do stuff like that for metal bands hardly anymore anyways. But it could happen and I hope it does. Having a good support system at home and having clear communication skills with your current partner or your former partner, having clear communication between you and them is one of the most important things because you can't bullshit them. You have to be honest. You just have to be like, look, here's what I wanna do. We have this and this and this going on. I understand that it's extra stress on you, so here's what I'm going to do to try to take some of that stress off of you. And a really easy way to do that is to pay them up front. That sounds kind of crazy. If you're going to leave and your children are with their other parent that you aren't together with, it's very easy to say, hey, I can't be here physically, but I will provide for you to adjust your financial situation because it's you that's causing it, it's the extra stress on that person, and the least you can do is pay for them to make it easier on them. If you are with your children's parent and you know their home, then you kind of need to do almost the same thing. You need to make sure the bills are paid or you're part of the bills or whatever. And you need to make sure that they aren't going to experience any significant financial stress while you're gone. Now, like I said, that's easier said than done. You do need to do a lot of saving and a lot of planning. It's a lot easier to save money than it is to make money. If you're good at making money on tour, great. A lot of things will get taken care of, but you need to find the ways to cut corners and save yourself a lot of financial headache while you're on the road. First one is hotels. Forget them, you don't need them. Are they convenient? Yeah. Are they great to have? Oh yeah. Do you need them? Absolutely not. You have a van, you have a vehicle, sleep in it. You need to take a shower? Go to a truck stop, it's 15 bucks. 
you'll live. It sucks, but you'll live. Another one is food. Food is expensive. If you can get a guarantee from the venue that you're gonna play in, make sure it's a meal and to cover your gas, at least. Not a lot of places will do it for you anymore, but if you can secure that, great. That way you're not shelling a bunch of money out of pocket to feed three, four, five, seven, whoever knows how many people are in your band, and you're not losing money on your gas. I mean, if, on, on an average van, I guess, with a trailer, you're probably gonna get three or four hours of driving for like 50 bucks. So make sure to plan accordingly when you are routing out your tour and just try to get a meal and at least your gas cover from the venue. It's not always gonna work, but try. If you are with the parent, then you need to make sure that they know you got everything squared away. And actually, the you know the parent that you're not together with, same thing. You are causing a problem, understand that. You are causing a rift in the normal day-to-day -day schedule. So you need to be able to take some of that heat off of whatever it is or wherever it's at and adjust it accordingly to help them and to help yourself. Yes, you have to be a parent to your children, but yes, you also have your own life that you have goals and dreams and aspirations and all that jazz that you want to do too. And there is a medium, there really is. It's not easy, but it can be done. Now with a lot of things these days, everything is online. You know what I mean, like nobody's doing shows. So that's what we started doing. Instead of being on tour a bunch of times, we started beefing up our online game, making a lot of videos and doing a lot of content otherwise. If we can't be out there on the road, we need to figure it out somewhere else. And this is what we're doing. We're sinking time into video content mostly. You have to make sure that your family, even though they know that you're doing something like this, they have to know that in your mind, they are number one because they are. All of this shit can go away immediately. All of your stuff can get stolen tonight, but your family will be there. You need to have them in your corner. They need to know that you care and you're not just out dicking off the whole time that you're gone. Or that when you go to rehearsals, you're not just in rehearsals getting shit faced. Some of you guys probably debate me on you know how you feel about this, but I don't care. I like to come in, get shit done, and then go home and hang out with my kids and hang out with my you know my whole family. That's what I want to do. That's what they think you're doing at least. And if that's what you are supposed to be doing and you're not doing it, then stop. Don't waste your time. Don't waste their time because you're missing out on stuff. That might sound uh, hypocritical to some of you people because yeah, on tour, you're gonna miss stuff. You're gonna miss holidays and who knows what. I think we missed like four Thanksgivings in a row. There has to be the sacrifice at the same time as the success. You can't really have one without the other normally. If you're a family person and you've been on tour and you've had to go through some of this, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the whole situation. I've done it many times and I've been lucky enough to make it all work and I'm very happy with the things that we've done and accomplished and I can't wait to be back and playing for you guys more. And again, happy late Father's Day to all you guys out there. I appreciate you guys stopping in today. Let me know how you feel about everything in the comments. And most importantly, subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of the week. Later.